At the beginning, I would like to welcome you all here today uh, in my name and uh, in the name of the organization team. They are doing a great job. Uh, today's session will be about enterprise e-commerce in AWS and a short overview about uh, food retail case study, which we are currently conducting for our, uh, for our customer. As the uh, lady said, my name is Alan Basic. I'm a member of the Ingemark uh, team. And for today, I actually create a small agenda. I'll use some time to promote us a little bit, some marketing words. Uh, then I'll try to share with you some e-commerce ecosystem and uh, enterprise environment overview. Uh, all, the, all those who are working in enterprise environments probably have all those information, but it's never hard to hear it again. And at the end, I will try to present you our solution, which is currently in the proof of concept. And then you will see uh, what is our solution for the, for the, for the, uh, for the current challenge. At the beginning, I would like to tell you a little bit about us. The uh, company name is Ingemark. Uh, actually, we are a software development agency uh, based in Zagreb, uh, Croatia, uh, founded like uh, 30 years ago. We have around 30 employees. Um, and over the years, we became a go-to software development partner for a number of companies in the, in the area, largest company. Some of them you can, you can even he, he see here on, the, on, on this list. There are Siemens, Bearbank, Adris Group, Consul, um, ma mainly the, the Agricor uh, holding companies, Croatian, Croatian Telecom, and so on. Uh, there is also a growing number of companies who are actually using our services in the United States and uh, in, the, in the Middle East. Uh, <clears throat> we are using AWS for a number of years now. Uh, uh, last year, I believe, we became, uh, we joined the partner network. Uh, since the beginning of this year, we are also the uh, standard consulting partner. And to be honest with you, in this, uh, at this moment, I would like to, to say that uh, our customers really like this uh, relationship we are, we are conducting with AWS. It is much easier for them uh, to have uh, a lot of services at one place. Uh, they can now offer, give us opportunity to develop their software and also help them and suggest how to deploy and how to, to run the system on the, on the cloud. Uh, product of that, kind of, of that relationship is, is even today's presentation, where we actually uh, currently conducting this project for our biggest sailor, biggest retailer, food retailer in the, in the, in the area. And I'll try to share with you some of major concerns and problems, maybe even solutions which we came up during, during this, uh, during this uh, task. But before we begin, <clears throat> I would like to give you a short overview about the e-commerce ecosystem in the enterprise environment. Uh, if you compare it with, with, the small, uh, with the small companies, there is a big difference. In the small companies, startups, you can easily uh, fire up already prepared solution, maybe use the Amazon, uh, Amazon image for Magento or, or something similar, uh, up, up, fire up the image, uh, use the, spend some time to update the card, uh, put the prices there and you're ready to go. In the enterprise environment, it's a little bit different. There is a highly integrated and uh, complex ecosystem of the services who are actually really interconnected and exchanging a lot of data, sometimes even in the real time. Uh, and without these, uh, these components, it's practically impossible to, 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 uh, to, to implement e-commerce solution, retail solution in the enterprise environment. There is always big interaction and exchange of data between enterprise uh, resource planning and uh, warehouse management. Uh, and these information have to be there in the retail uh, at the real time. If you want to, uh, to sell food, and we are doing that, uh, fleet management and the delivery management also is a major part. Uh, if you want to allow uh, customers to use um, all these available cards and pay uh, service with that card, you have to integrate with the payment gateway. Uh, and if you have to allow them uh, opportunity to create all those these uh, uh, promotions and uh, spam you with those, those promotion materials, it's impossible without business intelligence and customer relation management. Uh, 
As you can see on this slide, it's, it's quite complex and quite big. But let me let, dig a little bit deeper and try to explain how complex enterprise environment and infrastructure are. Usually, company in this business segment owns their own data centers, maybe even more than one. Uh, there is a lot of equipment there, a lot of servers, a lot of network equipment, uh, firewalls, switches, a lot of people actually involved in, in, in all that procedure to keep it running and operational. Environments are usually highly virtualized. Uh, with all these, enterprise must have features like uh, high availability, like um, uh, scalability, although not fully automated, but it easily can be executed with some interaction with the uh, with, uh, administration team. Uh, they have actually very, uh, very high prioritized uh, security in their list. So access from the, for the external customers, usually protected and isolated by the VPN access. Uh, endless number of uh, uh, security procedures implemented and in, in place already installed. Uh, their environments are only, uh, usually protected. Uh, data exchange and uh, data, uh, uh, data um, important data usually replicated all over all, to some remote and secure location. ISP, multiple to secure internet connection, usually redundant. They also have extra contract uh, line there to use uh, telco uh, support in case of DDoS and similar activities. And this is really complex. And if you want to, to do, conduct business in this such an environment, it will be very complicated. If you try actually to ask even for the, for the access, it will take days. And even when you receive an email that access is granted, probably you'll spend some more time to actually put it operational. But real challenge and real problem usually comes when you, when you bring uh, radical changes and radical demands, demands from the business side. For example, if, you, uh, if the manager system decides to cut the cost and, uh, cut the, and the change uh, relational data, database from the license to the, uh, to the open source version, you will see how resistant this environment is. Change proof. You, you, you will, it, they will need a days to, to, to even embrace that idea to, 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 that, to, to do that, to consider that change. Or if you have development team who is actually going to go with the current technologies and try to embrace microservices uh, and ask for the orchestration layer. You will see how that, how that hard is. If the marketing team tried to implement, uh, uh, let's say, voice user interface in machine learning, it will take a day just even to, to understand what, what these guys are looking after. These are really uh, real obstacles who are actually uh, blocking uh, enterprise environments to go forward, to, to accept the idea use the time and the moment of, of good and uh, normal ideas. Uh, obvious solution for this is go cloud. In our case, go AWS. Uh, but even when that topic comes to, to, the, to the table, it will open even more problems. Uh, and to be honest with you, these, these problems and these questions which they are asking, they are quite normal. And, and, and it, it, it's important to answer all these questions at the proper time, inform them fully about the, all activities and issues with cloud uh, is bringing with it. Always and on the top of the, of the list is always security. Security of the platform, security of the system, security of the web services exposed, uh, security of the data, who can read my data, who can access my data, and all of these questions related. And to be honest with you, these are legit questions because in the retail, there is a lot of data actually uh, traverse from and to customers. A lot of these information are confidential. A lot of this information uh, has to be stored. And even storing of this data brings new, new problems. Some of these activities are even under EU, EU uh, legislation procedures. So retailer is obligated to, to store and protect these data and to implement them on the, on the right way. 
in this situation, we usually use shared responsibility model available on the AWS and try to explain our customers that security is also important on the AWS. Uh, try to explain them and clarify that AWS is actually uh, protecting complete infrastructure used to run all these, uh, all these uh, services offered by the cloud. Uh, we usually try to explain them that AWS is uh, in charge and uh, for uh, in charge of protecting the cloud and uh, user in our case uh, retailer is in charge for protection data in the cloud and when we even try to clarify that more we describe that uh, protecting the services in the cloud it's not that much different than the protecting and the activities which we are actually doing every day in their on-premise data centers the big difference is always number of tools, uh, procedures, web services, uh, which can be easily deployed, easily used to implement security in the, in the, in the cloud. Uh, <clears throat> there is also compliance service available at AWS as service, and actually he's there to inform all our customers and future customers how robust activity AWS takes to protect uh, infrastructure and the data and the users among that. A list of these compliances are uh, already available on the website. You can check them uh, by yourself. And uh, just to specify that uh, these uh, compliances are regional and, uh, and global. And we use this uh, like a starting point for our customers in, 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 in uh, explaining security, as they can use these compliances to start and build their own uh, security of their own system. Uh, but never done, and all these information are, well, available. Security managers and uh, um, security officers and managers, they will never trust cloud. They will always want to, they will always believe that their data are more secured uh, in the local service, which they can easily see by their own eyes, than uh, data stored in the cloud. Our standpoint in this case is that it's uh, tr uh, that the external threats are developing every day, and uh, it's really hard uh, hard to compete with AWS in in implementing security measures and covering for these new threats. Uh, maybe it's much better to buy in some of these uh, opportunities and offers which AWS is giving, and spend more time and the effort on the application level security, maybe even implementing uh, extra layer, layer of protection like uh, encryption and stuff like that. Uh, after all these uh, lines, I believe that uh, we managed to, co to, to convince uh, our customers that uh, AWS is, is, is real place, real solution for uh, for our, for our now, uh, then pilot now uh, proof of concept project. Uh, but we, know, we all know that uh, retail is actually fastest charging, fastest changing and fastest growing uh, component in the ecosystem I showed on the previous slide. A list of demands we received with a new, uh, new release planned for our next release of our uh, retail uh, solution was quite long. And we decide to use that as an as a excuse, as an explanation to do complete redesign of our system. We decide to implement some new technologies which can easily be complied with AWS. We decide to implement microservices delivered by the dockers. We decide to implement continuous integration and continuous deployment. We decide uh, to deploy a system at one click to take out the uh, operation team for, for completely, because our developer now can do commit in our repository and conduct complete deployment from the beginning to the end. We wanted to uh, adopt a new database. New database, you already know that the, 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 our uh, database of, choi of choice was uh, Postgres. Implement Postgres in an in in on-premise data center is really complicated. I can say it like that. You probably already know that. Uh, with all these enterprise features, of course, because out of the box, Postgres is not enterprise ready for sure. A lot of tweaking, a lot of configuring uh, to, to, to get these 
um, interesting features like uh, uh, replication, high availability, like uh, monitoring, like alarming, like a point in time restore at the end. So we use all these uh, things to actually achieve our goals, to uh, adopt our demands to the new infrastructure, to enhance agility of the development team so they can publish to the development environment any time they want, without interfering of the third persons. And also, we want to enhance system maintenance. Uh, our goal was actually to make a deployment of our application without downtime. That is actually impossible in the, not impossible, that is hard to, to, to implement in the, in the enterprise, normal enterprise environment. And at the end, I'll show you our architectural diagram, which is actually running in operation, oper operational right now. Uh, I'll try to explain uh, a little bit this infrastructure, uh, although maybe this is more like uh, very, very similar to uh, suggested, uh, suggested AWS architecture, pretty standard. But uh, we had a three main goals uh, implementing this, this technology. Serval request, which we achieved implementing Route 53, and load balancer. We wanted to actually uh, serve all requests as fast as, as fast as possible. We tried to achieve that using CloudFront, for, who is actually acting as our front end, who is actually serving an all static content, uh, promotional material, images, and so on and so on, and accept all load at any scale. So we decided to implement auto-scaling service, AWS auto-scaling, which will uh, be configured in the way that uh, in, the, in the terms of heavy load, it will add or deduct instance when the things are going to be normalized. All at all, uh, we complete this infrastructure using uh, cloud formation infrastructure as a code deployed in a single region in case that, uh, that uh, extra availability will be needed. It's easy to replicate in, in, in uh, another region. Um, everything is uh, everything important. I mean, the backend system, they are uh, organized in the public subnet, currently uh, presented only two, but in reality, there are three uh, infrastructure spread over three availability zones. Um, our Docker containers are handled by the Elastic Container Service, which are actually deployed in the EC2 instance. Number of instances uh, managed by the auto scaling. Uh, EC2, uh, ECS service is uh, used to, to do uh, monitoring, deployment, deploying, uh, rollback, uh, rollback deployment to do the uh, alarming and all these things. Uh, database layer is uh, uh, is a Postgres in the multi-AZ mode, probably will add a replication mode as well. All infrastructure is monitored using Cloud CloudWatch and CloudSail. Uh, communication with, uh, with our customers is usually conducted using uh, simple mail service and all users and for application, console, are conducted and handled by the uh, IIM. This is standard part of the system and it's pretty standard, nothing special there, but uh, we have also an integration layer. Integration layer is there just to uh, implement all these exchange, data exchange needed to, to, to keep this simple, to keep this system uh, operational as, as it is in the previous version. Uh, we managed to connect on-premise data center using VPN, and for all these heavy lifting tasks, we, um, we, we try to use our uh, Kafka know-how and use Kinesis Stream and a couple of Lambdas who will act like uh, producers and consumers to, to actually uh, read all data and do the transformation and, and actually heavy lifting, it has to be uh, organized. In this uh, environment will be organized for the production and development, uh, development on, and testing. This is it. If you have any question, please. Microphone. If anyone has a question. 
Yes. Uh, how come you didn't choose to go with database in cloud as well, for example, a Redshift or something like that? You've kept it in premises, on premises. Nothing is on premise actually. All retail system solution is uh, is using uh, RDS system. You can see it there, on, here. And on the right side, this on-premise on right data center. Side, on the right side, on the on-premise, we have web services, uh, which are actually already there. We will use streams and the lambdas actually to collect data from the retail system and post them to that web service using VPN. Also, we'll use lambdas to use data from the web services from on-premise. This, this infrastructure is already existing because of the integration of this ecosystem. So uh, part of this infrastructure is, is, is already there and available. But the thing is that it's usually from the zillion of vendor. Uh, usually a lot of bash and shell scripting, cron scripting. This, this is our way how to actually organize it and have it uh, really documented. So uh, we think that this, this solution will also help them uh, how to document their own infrastructure. Yes? Okay, uh, for the CI and CD, we are using Jenkins. It's our internal project handled by our own infrastructure. And uh, actually, Jenkins is a is great tool. What can I tell you? It, it is easy to, to implement all these uh, pipeline steps uh, from the code commit, which is on GitHub, and then uh, all, all the way to the, to the deployment. Uh, it's fully automatized, uh, uh, automatically executed on, on code commit uh, from the beginning to the, to the test and deployment, uh, test environment. Uh, production deployment is handled also via Jenkins, but on demand. It has to be human interaction there. Well, uh, as, as we are using ECS for the deploying, there is a very, I mean, great CLI for ACS. A lot of, uh, uh, a lot of comments available. So actually, we are interacting with the CLI from the, uh, on, on the ACS in the AWS to do the, the de deployment. Because deployment is not e e simple. You have to uh, uh, order deployment, then you have to wait and check and, and check and check some more uh, to wait until health checks are there to conduct with uh, another another node, because uh, this is cluster we are talking about, and we are always using rolling update. Yes? Microphone. Uh, as I understand, as I understood correctly, uh, this new platform on AWS is uh, connected to the on-premises customer uh, data center that is connected to uh, VPN. Yeah, actually, it, it is connected to the, uh, to the on-premise data center, right. But uh, these services are in their DNZ. DNZ. Uh, no, no. Uh, my question was, uh, you said that all the data uh, is supposed to be collected from the on-premise data center that is locally. Yes. Uh, what, would, what would happen if the VPN connection broke? Yeah, that's, that's, that's the issue. Currently, we are, uh, we are discussing about this topic because AWS has also uh, hardware who, who can guarantee uh, better connectivity. Uh, it is something which we are actually exploring, and probably by the, by the production date, we will, we will probably replace this, uh, this software solution with the uh, with with hardware uh, device who can easily replace this, this software VPN. And then in this way, it, it will be much more secure. But at the end, if the ISP fails, well, no data exchange. Uh, but th th it's nothing to be lost. For some period, we will not exchange the data uh, until this uh, connection is established again. And then we will uh, do, do exchange uh, at the time when, when, when everything is operational. So uh, although it's highly integrated retail, uh, it, it is also acceptable to, to lose connectivity for a small uh, period because if we sell 10 beers, it's not that much different for the warehouse who is handling 10,000 or a million bottles. 
Uh, the, the, there is a small period who is accepted to, to, to lose connectivity, but I'm, I'm telling you, we will explore the hardware solution for the, for, to replace the VPN. Okay, thank you. <laughs>